Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to take a look at the Flash Shoot Vlog Pro Kit. This is a smartphone video microphone kit. Comes with some extra stuff, but we're gonna check it out, try it out, see how it performs, and here we go. All right, let's take a quick look around the box here. We can see this says Flash Shoot Vlog Pro Kit Smartphone Video Microphone Kit. We could take a look at it, what it's gonna look like fully assembled here. And yeah, so um, yeah, on this side, a little bit of branding. On this side, nothing. This side, a little branding. On this side, it's gonna show us what comes in the box with it. It looks like we're gonna get a mini tripod here. Um, we're gonna get a light, which is very cool. Uh, a dead cat, a microphone, a shock mount, and a phone clip. All right, looks like it's gonna be some good stuff in here. Let's get this out of the box so that we can, uh, we can actually check it out here. And let's see. Let's uh, let's pop that open, and yeah, we can set the box off to the side, and here is everything. So this is going to be the uh, this is going to be the mini tripod right here, and this is nice because it actually has a uh, it actually has a bit of a ball head on there so that you can use that if you need to or want to. Um, it has a quarter twenty thread on there for something. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to figure out what that's going to be for. Um, we have the microphone here. So there is that. This uh, actually feels really solid. There's, it's actually metal construction. There is the capsule right there. Um, it looks a lot like the, uh, like a lot of these uh, mini shotgun mics that you see out there. Um, this is going to be the light here. Let's see if we can get that out. And um, let's see. Let's just get this out of the plastic here. And yeah, that's it right there. It looks like this is going to have a, yeah, it has an internal rechargeable battery. It has a USB-C port right there. Um, let's see if we turn this, I'm not sure where the power button is. Maybe you just push it. Oh yeah, you push it to turn it on. Let's see if we push that and hold it. Yeah, there we go, pops right on. And uh, there we go, we can, uh, we can brighten this up. It has, this is really nice because it actually has a dial on the back that shows you the brightness level of it from all the way from 100 down to let's see what this is gonna go to. Let's see if it actually just, yeah, it goes all the way to zero there. So you can you can bring this up by 1% increments all the way up to 100. You can also change the color temperature right there. So you can go up to, let's see, you can go up to 8,500 Kelvin all the way down and warm it up all the way down to 2,800 Kelvin. So um, yeah, that's pretty slick. If you, uh, if you want daylight, daylight's 56K. So yeah, there you go. That's pretty slick, I like that a lot. Okay, well let's go ahead and uh, we'll turn that off there. And I think to turn it off, just push it and hold it. It turns off. You also have these uh, mounting points on here. There's three cold shoes on here so that you can mount other stuff to this light if you need to. So very cool. Quarter 20 thread on the bottom so that you can mount this onto a tripod or whatever, selfie stick, however you need to. So, all right, we'll set that off to the side. We have the, uh, oh, it looks like, uh, I was wondering what this was, but inside the dead cat, they actually give us a filter here. So it's sort of a, uh, it's sort of a, um, a diffusion filter that we can put on the light there. So there we go. That way it'll soften the light up a bit. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how this goes on. So let's see if we can get this uh, situated. But we'll figure this out. We'll get that. We'll get that situated and figured out and put on. Get that put on properly. So. Here is the shock mount for, for the microphone here. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how this performs. It doesn't look like it is the most robust, but uh, you know, it, as long as it works, eh, it looks like a lot of them that I've seen. So as long as it works, that's all that really matters. So um, yeah, okay, we'll set that over there. We have a, uh, we have a micro, uh, excuse me, a, uh, a USB-C cable right there. We have uh, paperwork, set that off to the side. And then we have a, uh, then we have a audio cable for the microphone. So we, it looks like we have two audio cables. So this is going to be the phone cable here uh, that you can use. So you can hook it up to your phone. And it looks like we're going to get another cable as well that we can use with uh, a camera. So if you're using this with a regular camera, maybe something like a GoPro or a mirrorless camera or DSLR, this will work for you as well. So you can always tell the difference between the, uh, between the smartphone cameras and 
the regular cameras because you will see, and it may be hard to see, it's so small, but there are three lines on the, uh, there are three lines or three prongs on the connector, on the port, on the jack or whatever you call it, and there's only, for the smartphones, two lines for the regular cameras. Some people will do this, which is nice, where they put actually a tag on them that says phone cable, and they will change the color to the part that goes into the phone so that you don't get it mixed up. So the ones that go to the camera, it's the same on both ends, so there's nothing to worry about there, but they will put camera cable on the tag sometimes, so. All right, um, we also have the phone clip here, and this is going to give us a cold shoe on the top here and on the back right there, which is kind of nice. We have a quarter 20 thread um, on, the, on the back here and on the bottom, so that's really nice here and it's a spring-loaded um, uh, phone clip. It's got rubber on top and bottom to prevent any scratching. There's also a felt pad on the back so that prevent any scratching on your phone if you're using this without a case on your phone. So, uh, and last but not least, we have the, uh, the dead cat that can go over the, uh, the microphone. So if you are in a very windy situation and you don't want to have your audio messed up, you can put this on there. This actually has foam on the inside, so I think this can be used, yeah, actually without using the uh, the included foam windscreen. You can just use this alone there. So, um, yeah, you might want to you might want to use them both because it seems like it's a little loose without it. But um, you know, you can. I believe you can use it because this does have. Uh, foam on the inside where some of them do not. So, all right, that is everything that comes with this kit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone. I'm gonna use the iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max um, and try it out. Now I'm not sure if this is going to actually hold it with the case on here, it, but it looks like it does. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna work with the case on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up and uh, put the whole kit together, and then we'll see how it performs and what the microphone sounds like and how the light looks. Okay, so here I am at my table here, and this is just using the iPhone alone. I don't have the light on, I don't have the microphone plugged in. So this is just a quick sample of using the iPhone as a standalone camera. So let's go ahead now, hook up the microphone, turn on the light, and we'll see how much it changes everything. All right, so I went ahead and I turned on the light and I have the microphone plugged in and yeah, you could probably see that it adds a nice pop. So the light specifically adds a nice pop, especially when you're backlit to begin with. It puts some light on you so that you really can be seen easier, especially people like me who have a darker complexion. You need more light on you, and this light's going to do a nice job of it. So yeah, so far I have to say this is a pretty nice kit. I really like the fact that this uh, little mini tripod has a ball head on it because it allows me to angle the, uh, the camera up so that you can actually see me and I can get the right framing. Other times when I film with uh, or I've tried to use these mini tripods because they don't have a ball head they're sort of they, they're sitting really low and they sort of cut you off and then you have to put them set them on top of a book or something to rise them up a little bit to raise them up a little bit but with this one you can just simply tilt it back and now you can uh, you can see me and and have the the proper composition in the frame so yeah anyways there we have it this is it this is a quick look at what this uh, what this looks like and how it sounds um, I'm gonna go outside and walk a little bit and see what it looks like when I'm just walking and vlogging now mind you I'm gonna be wearing a mask so I might sound a little muffled to you so if you want to know what the microphone sounds like this is what it sounds like right now when I'm outside with a mask it might be a little muffled you're gonna hear what the microphone sounds like when I'm a little muffled but let's go check that out too all right so I have the microphone hooked up I have the light turned on and I am just rolling here vlogging holding the uh, camera out in front of me and uh, or the phone out in front of me and yeah so I'm curious to know what you think about it so this again is with the light on and right now because I'm outside I have it turned on to 100% and I have the color temperature set to like 3900 Kelvin so it's a bit warmer I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light off right quick so you can see what it looks like with it off and there we go we now have the light turned off and so one thing you may know with the light on versus off is that it gives a little bit of a pop so let me turn this back on and there we go you might see a little bit of a pop right there with the light on versus it off and 
the microphone, you know, it just helps to be able to be heard a little bit better, a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner. All right, so just as a point of reference, here is, um, you know, a sample of what the audio sounds like with just the iPhone microphones. That's it, just, this is just the built-in microphones of the iPhone. So yeah, what do you think about it in comparison to using the, uh, the flash shoot vlog kit microphone? So, but again, right now what you're hearing are the iPhone's built-in microphones. And again, I'm shooting with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. All right, well, the audio using this microphone outdoors sounded absolutely horrible. And I think that was because there was a little bit of wind out there and I just had the foam wind puff on. So I went ahead and swapped out the foam wind puff for the, uh, for the furry wind puff for the dead cat. And I'm gonna go back outside now and try this again and just see what it sounds like, if it sounds any better. Because if it doesn't and it sounds bad again, then I'm gonna have to call this a fail. But it sounded pretty good indoors, so I think it must have just been the wind that was really kicking up and causing the microphone some problems. So let's go back outside with the, with the dead cat on and try it once again. Okay, so I went ahead and put the, uh, the dead cat on and I'm back again outside and uh, just want to see what this sounds like to see if the audio is going to sound any better than it did before. So um, yeah, as we were able to hear before with the uh, microphone on here, it sounded pretty bad. It was pretty horrible in fact and uh, there was only a little bit of wind. It wasn't really much wind at all. There's just a little bit of wind out here right now that's uh, that's not really, it's not like even kicking up where the, where the leaves are blowing but I can feel a little bit of a breeze on my face but not really much at all. Most of the wind that's coming is just from me walking and uh, and yeah the microphone just moving with the with the air so we'll see how this sounds in comparison to with just the foam windscreen maybe uh if it sounds better what you might have to do is always use a dead cat when you're outside and use the foam windscreen when you're inside so uh right now the wind kicked up a bit a little a little bit again so hopefully we'll be able to uh to hear you know a difference and we won't have the audio messed up but we're gonna find out so uh, you know, I'm gonna go back inside and listen and check it out. But again, this is recording with the iPhone 11 Pro Max with the flash shoot uh, microphone on top of the phone with the, uh, the furry windscreen, the dead cat on the microphone. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the Flash Shoot Vlog Pro Kit. This is a smartphone video microphone kit. And yeah, I have to say, for the most part, I like it. I really like this light. It's small, it's powerful. It has three cold shoe mounts on there, so you can mount your microphone wherever it is that you want to, or you can put something else. If you want to mount another light on there or something else, you could. It makes it very, very easy to do that. Now, the microphone is a different story. The microphone doesn't actually sound bad when you don't have any wind, so if you're indoors, it sounds pretty good. If you're outdoors, you have to, and I repeat, you are going to really, really have to make sure you use the dead cat because any no, any wind at all is going to destroy your audio with this microphone. In fact, even when the wind kicked up a little bit with the dead cat, it still messed up my audio a little bit. So I'm not really as impressed with the microphone as I am with the light, for instance. Um, so yeah, that's something to consider. It's not a bad kit, it's just, for me, that's a problem. You're gonna wanna make sure that you really have this dead cat on. You might even wanna consider using the dead cat and the foam windscreen together if you can get them both on there so that you don't have to worry about getting your having your audio ruined because of wind noise. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave links to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so you can reach out to me and uh, say hello or see what other products and services I've reviewed. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.